The RecX error is a common problem with Need for Speed Heat. The RecX is a standard set up by Microsoft that games and other multimedia programs can use to connect to hardware components in a way that works with all versions of Windows. This video should help you fix it if the game keeps crashing and giving you a DirectX error afterward. By the way, please like and share our videos to help those who might have the same issues so that we can help them too. Once you're done, then let's begin. First, install software updates. Make sure that all of the software on your PC is up to date as a first step toward fixing the need for speed heat error. To do this, you must check to see if there are any updates for these things. Apps such as games, drivers particularly for your GPU drivers, Windows operating system. Make sure that all of these software parts are running the latest version. Next, switch to HDMI connection. Try switching to an HDMI cable if you're not already using one. Using DVI-D apparently caused DirectX issues for several gamers. If you have that, switching to HDMI could help. Next, turn off display scaling in NVIDIA control panel. Some gamers were able to get rid of the DirectX problem by disabling display scaling on their graphics processing unit. Try that and see what happens. Open NVIDIA control panel. On the left pane, select adjust desktop size and position. On the right pane, under apply the following settings, select no scaling. Click on apply. Next, use lower graphics settings. In order to resolve the DirectX problem, you should try running the game with reduced display settings. If, for some reason, made for speed, hit is being played in 4K, reducing the screen's resolution might improve the experience. Like with the display, you may deactivate scaling on the GPU side as well. Here's how. Open NVIDIA control panel. On the left pane, select adjust desktop size and position. On the right pane, under apply the following settings, select no scaling. Under perform scaling on, select GPU. Click on apply. Next, use lower FPS. Reduce the frame rate to enhance performance if your computer has a performance problem or if it just barely satisfies the game's minimal system requirements. Open NVIDIA control panel. On the left pane, select Manage 3D Settings. Select Program Settings tab. Select Need for Speed Heat. In the next section, find Vertical Sync and select Adapted. Load the game, go to settings, and disable in-game vSync. That's it. If you think that this video is helpful, we would appreciate it. If you can leave a like or comment, subscribe to our channel or share this video to your friends. This can greatly help in making Google's algorithm can find and recommend this video to others.